Welcome to Nightline. I'm Gwen Hall, your host, and we're so glad that you've joined us for our Valentine's special. We've got special guests I'm going to be introducing in just a little while. But right now, at the first of this program, I want to sing a song to Wade. It's a song that I sang to him so many times before we were married. Yeah, when we were courting, and we sit on the front porch in the swing there at Mountain Brook. I used to sing this song to him, and and tonight this is just just for him, honey. To know. first in my life and then next to him Wade is the love of my life and I don't think we can ever tell each other enough how much that we mean to each other in the good times and the most difficult times that we go through I don't know about you but the times we've gone through we've always drawn strength from one another but it's all about knowing Jesus and today when I was thinking okay Lord what songs do I sing I want to sing love songs to you I wanted to sing one to Wade but Lord tonight I want to sing songs to you and and these are songs that you know that you might know that you might not know but I love these songs
Yes, even from a child. Jesus loves me. This I know. thanksgiving and into your courts with praise we've come to worship you we've come to give you our praise this night oh the word said let everything that hath breath praise the Lord more than anything that's what he loves from you is when you begin to forget about your day forget about supper time right now and you just begin to enter into that time of worship and telling you what he means to you he's my everything he's jehovah jireh my provider he's my messiah oh i love him and he loves me it's unconditionally i'm so glad at this time i want us to go over to wait honey what's well, so good to be with you this evening and another beautiful day maybe raining maybe sunny where you're at but it's a beautiful day because of him I want to mention right up front, our prayer partners come so faithfully Monday through Friday, and they come to take your calls. So if you've got a need, no matter what it is, you could be going through something spiritual, financial, uh, physical, you know, family problems, no matter what it is, give us a call. Let us join our faith with yours and lift that need up before the Father. There's power in prayer, power in the unity of prayer. Because what it is, is we're communicating with the Father. And Gwen loves those praise reports. So if you've got a good praise report, give us a call on that. And we'll share that. Because it helps build the faith of others that may be going through the same thing that God has helped you through. So give us a call. Their prayer partners are waiting there. Well, Gwen, you did another quick change. I we did. both did tonight. I did. I did. This has uh, been, uh, I guess, the first or first week of rehab so things are progressing and coming right along but it's mm -hmm. going to be a few more weeks you know we'll get another x-ray in a couple of weeks for I don't know if you're watching this for the fir first time but I fell down a bank a couple of weeks ago and broke my shoulder and but it's it's healing nicely it was like a clean break so he says if I'll just leave it in the sling it'll he believes it'll heal back by itself and along with prayer and and I need your prayer while I'm going through rehab for sure <laughs> <laughs> it's not a picnic, but you know what? It helps. I don't want the arm to freeze. So, right. you know, thank you. Thank you. I know you all have been praying, and I thank you for that. So it's good to be on tonight. We've got special Valentine guests tonight. I know, and looking forward to it, I too. I know. Our, our special guests tonight are Annie and George Broughton, and we're just so glad that they're here with us tonight. And Annie has a program every Monday night at 6 p.m. Just call me Sarah. So you're in for a treat. You're going to get to hear all about how they met, and we've got wedding pictures, and so you're going to really enjoy that. And then our music tonight is Minister Kenny Smith and Tanya Stewart, and so they're going to do solos and duets together through the evening, and so we want you to call up somebody right now and invite them to watch this special Valentine. This will be, I guess, the last of our Valentine programs. For this year. And mm -hmm. We've just had some wonderful guests, some wonderful stories, and 
You know, Wade and I have been married um, 27 years, going on 28 years. Good years. That's right. Yeah, so we've enjoyed every mm -hmm. bit of it. Do you like my song I sang, even I, if it was taped? I do, I do. <laughs> you know, uh, let's see, what, what is it? Uh, 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 getting a little older and you have to uh, sing it by tape to me? or Well, what? I, I, mean, I was thinking about how I look so different. Yeah, I can't quite get a curler up there yet, so I just have to just... Kind of spray it and scrunch it. So well, I like that <laughs> enjoy the new look. look, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is. It's okay. I told you I like that scrunchy <laughs> oh, look. Oh, you like that scrunchy I look? I do. <laughs> and so we're excited yeah. about our guests being here tonight. Right. And, and just just the thought about this week, <laughs> what's happened in your life this week. Well, uh, like every week, it's, it's a good week because of him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, each week that goes by, and each day actually goes by, you know, we start our day. Lord put us in the right place. At the right, yeah. And uh, Lord, you know, lead, guide us, and direct us, you know, where you'd have us to be. And, you know, that should be all our uh, desire is to for the Lord to have us each and every day where yeah. He would want us. And I don't think, I don't think, Wade, that there's a week goes by that we don't have an opportunity to, to tell somebody about Jesus or... Somebody might come up to us and say, I've got a special prayer request or a right. special praise report. You know, I love praise reports and I want to hear some tonight, but that, that kind of makes my week. It does. And God just has us in the right place at the right time and that's our prayer. Well, we're going to go to some good music now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Minister Kenny Smith sending by. He's going to do a song now, Lord, How I Love You. Let's just worship with him.
Lord. Come on and lift up your hands wherever you are. The love of Jesus is in your heart. It's all around you. Lord, I want to say, Lord, I want to say, Lord, I want to say, oh, 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 bless you, oh, God. Oh, God, we love you, Jesus, for you are wonderful to us. Oh. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Can you slip your hand up right now and just enter in to worship with us tonight as we worship the Most High God? We can never praise Him enough. We can never thank Him enough for what He's done for us, for what He's doing in His life, and for what I sense in His presence here tonight. My favorite scripture in Mark, it said, and it was noise that He was in the house. Who was in the house? Jesus is in the house. It makes all the difference. When you just let go and let God, I'm telling you, He wants to move in your life tonight. I want to hear some praise reports. Praise God. And this time I want us to go to Wade. I know he's got a wonderful scripture, don't you, tonight? I'll tell you, you know what a perfect song, Gwen, that was to go along with our scripture tonight. 1 John 4 and 7 and verse 8. And it reads like this. Beloved, let us love one another. Amen. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. You know, that right there is so powerful because what it's saying is if we've got the love of God within us, you know, we've got his presence, you know. Oh, I tell you what, he's telling us that we should love one another. And the song that he just sang, do we really stop and take the time like we should to tell the Father how much we love him? Wow. Oh, he's done so much for us in so many ways. And, and you know, he deserves us to just say, Lord, I love you. That'd be a good way to wake up in the morning and start the day. And a good way to finish the day is telling him that you love him. And, you know, to express that love of God, we should be talking to those around us. That's right. And, and looking at our loved ones and saying, hey, I love you. And... Uh, you know, Gwen and I, there's a little plaque on our wall that's in our bedroom. And when we go to bed at night, I'll, I'll say, hey, hey, or I'll point. And I point up to the plaque. And what it says is, P.S., I love you. And you know, <laughs> and uh, what are you laughing about? <laughs> you do that now about every night. Every night. Oh, yes. You know, don't forget that. P.S., I love you. You know, but you know, that's that's part of it. And when you've got that love in you, got That's that right. joy of God yes, in you, you do. it can't help but come out. Will you pray, honey? Yes. <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord, thank again you, Lord. for such a wonderful day. It's awesome. And it's all because awesome. of you, Lord. No matter what comes, no matter what we face, Lord, we can rejoice because of you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for it, Father. And as we go into the service tonight, Lord, we just ask you to have your way, Lord. I know there are many needs out there, thank Father. You, Lord. And, Lord, we're looking for the prayer requests to come in, Lord, the praise reports. Lord, we want to rejoice over the praise report, and we want to pray for those that send in these requests. Father, join our faith thank with God. theirs that each and every one will be turned into a praise report. And we thank you for thank it, God. Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Going back now to Minister Kenny Smith and the young lady that's here tonight, Tanya Stewart, and they're going to do a song together called Close to You.
now no one can I belong to you until the end of time good to know and all I want to say till my dying day I just want to be close to you Oh, I don't know that I've ever heard that song before, but I'll tell you, they did a beautiful job. You need to call in tonight. Let us, let us hear what you think about it. I'm telling you, this is a special night. It's a special Valentine's program. And now I want to introduce to you our very special guests, Annie and George Broughton. It's so good to have you here tonight. Let's give them a hand. We are so excited to be oh. on the set with you tonight. Oh, Ray. I'm the one that's blessed <laughs> getting to have you all. Thank Look you. So forward to it. And I know you probably see Annie here. She has a program on every Monday night at 6 p.m. Just call me Sarah. Yeah. But tonight, we're we're going to just look at their lives, and we've got <laughs> wedding pictures, and they've got story after story. Oh, my God. You're going to be so oh my blessed. And what wonderful music. Oh, my. Oh, yes. So anointed. Kenny and Tanya are oh just my. phenomenal in God and yeah, the gospel. If, if they've mm -hmm. never thought about putting out a CD together for wedding music, they need to think about it. They should. There's an anointing on them for that. They should. Absolutely. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. George, it's so good to have you here tonight. <laughs> it is so good. And my pleasure to get to meet you for the very first time. Thank you. Thank I've heard you. a lot of good things about you. Yeah, well, I, we see you a lot. <laughs> Tell us how you, you all met. We're going to get of the pictures in just a few minutes. Well, George and I actually, uh, we was in church together many, many years ago. Um, I got saved when I was 12. Oh. And so, and his mother, they attended the same church. Oh. Um, he's, he's seven years my senior. And uh, so we, you know, he started trying to like me when I got a little bit older than 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but my mom says, he's too old for you, you know, because he was driving a car and he had a little girlfriend already. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. I'll tell it. We're going to tell it all tonight. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so she said that he's too old for you. And so he eventually grew up, got married, moved away. I got married eventually. And so um, his wife died. Oh. Yeah, his wife passed on. And um, so God started giving him dreams about me after um, I got a divorce 
And so he started having dreams about me. And so he came over to the church where I was pastoring. Mm -hmm. And um, so everybody said, he likes you, he likes you. <laughs> and I said, no, we're just friends. Always say I've been friends, always will be friends. And mm -hmm. he said, no, he really likes you. I can tell you, he really likes you. Right. And so um, he asked me to go out on a date with him where the whole church went. Yeah. On your date? <laughs> they did. Oh, my. <laughs> Are you serious? They will not let us, you know, they date. They to keep an eye on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was just like there was the, the, the mother over her, you yeah. know, watching her. Yeah. And every time I would say something to Annie, uh, one of them would say, what did he say? What did <laughs> he say? <laughs> you know, just, they had you know. to be in on it all. Yeah. So yeah. how many yeah. went? It was approximately, well, we had like two tables full of people, you know. They just For your first date. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the second. <laughs> and, and the third. <laughs> they all went? They all went. They all oh, my went. goodness. Every time we went out, they went out. Because most of the time we went out after service on Sundays. Yeah. You know, we so you were well chaperoned. Well chaperoned. <laughs> well chaperoned. You know, because they love, because yeah. see, for many years they just had me to themselves. I so was, because of time, and we're moving right along, so when did you know that you're getting serious about him? You know, when did when did he propose? I mean, how long did this go on? Were they there when you proposed to? Were they there? See, I don't think no, so. they weren't there. They weren't there. I don't there. think they were there when, we, when he asked me to marry him. Yeah, yeah. How long had you been seeing each other when you? About a year. Yeah, about a year. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, about a year, yeah. um, and we were planning on getting married in, Decem in December of 2009, and my mom says, y'all know each other, you know, mm -hmm. you already know one another, mm -hmm. why not go ahead? She said, because I want to be alive to come to the Aww. wedding, because she, was, she wasn't feeling well, she was, you know, on the ill side, so mm -hmm. um, we moved it up to May, and thank God we did, because she was able to attend, but not long after that. She well, I want to hear the good part. How did you <laughs> propose to this lovely lady? Well, the first... Took the, a lot of planning, right? <laughs> it didn't for me. But the first, <laughs> first of what happened that uh, she was told about how we was having dreams. I was having dreams about her, you know, and, and I, <laughs> I told her... Was you having dreams about him, too? Nope. 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 <laughs> she didn't. Because, see, I always thought that she was too busy you know, for me to come back into her life because she was working in the church, t taking care of her mom and her children and, mm -hmm. and working at the hospital. And she had all this going on. I just thought she didn't have she time She might not for have me. time for you? That's what I thought. Oh. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the Lord said, let me wake him up a little more because he's just not understanding what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> and uh, so I told her, you know, we was out eating one night, wasn't it? I'm cutting it short a little yeah. bit. But we was out eating, and I told her to Well, my, my, my two sons, I have two sons, and both of them kept on saying, One's mm -hmm. Israel, right? Yeah. 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 Pop, what you waiting on? What you gonna, when you going to ask her? When you going to ask her, you know? Yeah. And so finally he got up the nerve to ask me. And was you nervous? No, I wasn't nervous. Oh, you weren't nervous. Because, see, the Lord had done, I already told me, buddy. Well, what you was trembling. Do? You were shaking. <laughs> I, I might have been a little bit, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> but... He, but she, uh, they wasn't around when I proposed to her, you know, and uh, I told her the Lord showed me we supposed to be married, husband and wife. She said, the Lord ain't told me that. I know. <laughs> I said, uh-uh. And, you know, she said, I'm going to have to pray about this. I said, mm -hmm. okay, you pray. We'll, we'll pray about it. Well, mm -hmm. we should. Yeah. 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 That's a big step. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah it is. But I didn't, I, I knew what the Lord had Shown me, you know, that's why he showed me in dreams, certain things in dreams, you know, and uh, and I always have loved her, even when we broke up, you wow. know, and went our separate ways. I still loved her. I dated a little bit, now. a little bit, and <laughs> he was a cast but anyway, mm -hmm. I would always <laughs> talk about her to you know, whoever I date. And one lady told me one time, she said, If she's so all that, why are you not with her now? And I said, yeah, why am I not with her? Yeah, and that's that what I asked. A bell. <laughs> that just <laughs> rung a bell, you know, that I need to be, you know, get, and come, you know, just 
be like my mom told yeah, me. Yeah, spit it out. And it's supposed to be your <laughs> husband. That's what she told me when we were young. And I said, oh, you think so? She said, yeah. And my well, so mom, did you get down on one knee? Did I? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I think he might have gotten down on one I, knee. Yeah. I, I think he I might know. have gotten down on one knee. So, and I and I said after some so what did you say when he it, asked I said, you? I said yeah. I said yeah. 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 And um, and I talked to some of the members of the church about it to see what they thought. Mm -hmm. And they thought that he was a good fellow, you know, good <laughs> catch, and that he would be good to me. And you me. dated for a year. I mean, if you didn't know year. by now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We dated for a year, and so um, I would just want to make sure though, because I just, you know, this. Marriage is a serious thing to enter it into, is. you know. It so, is. Yeah. but uh, he's a good man. He he's a he's a he's good to me, you know. He's kind-hearted, you know. He's he's a gentle he's a gentle soul. Thank you. And so we laugh a lot, and I love to tease him, and I love to you know tickle <coughs> him on his knee, you know. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you know he hates that, you know. But I, know. I, <laughs> you know, I know somebody else who hates that too. Yeah. <laughs> So May twenty third, ten years. Ten right. years. We've wow. been married in ten years for yeah. ten wow. years. And does it seem, I'm sure it don't seem like that. It does not. Mm -mm. Can we let's let's take a look at your wedding picture. Okay. Can we do that? <laughs> I know we they got those pictures ready. Look at this. That's their beautiful cake. Just go through there and look at all of <laughs> wow. them. It looks like there was a lot of planning went into this wedding. Mm -hmm. Was there? It yeah. was. In fact, one of one of my uh, members. I love that picture. <laughs> One of the members of the church, she actually um, helped me with the wedding, uh, the decorations and everything. And all those ladies that you see, most of them were members of my church. You know, they helped me with everything. And, you know, that's Kathy Sandlin. I know her you know? well. <laughs> yeah. She prophetically She's spoke sweet. over our wedding. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the word? Oh, no, but... It's, it came to pass, you know, yeah. that's Dr. Paul that's awesome. Gehring, he yeah. officiated the wedding. It was a big crowd there. Yeah. <laughs> and so we just had a, a wonderful, wonderful um, Does celebration. Does it seem like 10 years? Probably not. It doesn't seem like it's, it's 10 years, no. actually, because um, we have a great time together. We was listening to you and Wade before we came on the air about how y'all share your love. And that's what we do. We, we laugh and we talk all the time. And... And he always said, if somebody were to come to our door, you know, they'd think, what's going on inside that house? Because we'd just be acting like two little kids and just enjoying, enjoying the Lord, enjoying Absolutely. each other, and just having a great time. Mm -hmm. We live every day just like we're on vacation. You know, we've downsized to a condo now, and we just, but you've got a beautiful family. Look at Thank that you. beautiful family. I know Thank we you. have a big family too, but you've got a big family. How many total family members? Well, I have I have two sons, and yeah. he has a son and a daughter, mm -hmm. um, and so and we just kind of like came together and uh, combined our families with children, grandchildren, great grands, you mm -hmm. know. So yeah. we do. We have a big family. God has really been good to us, being kind and being merciful. Yeah. Beautiful family. Yeah. And who is that young man back there? Dr. The Paul Gehring. Yeah, I know him yeah, as from well. Redemption. His wife Carol. Carol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know them. Yeah, because I, I'm a member of Redemption mm -hmm. and everything. So um, Apostle Ron, he... Is that where you were married? No, we was married at um, Kathy Sandler's church. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, God certainly has blessed you. Thank you so much. We yeah. have really enjoyed being married. Um, mm -hmm. I, I oftentimes tell people that I could not be doing all the things that I'm doing if... You know, he had, God hadn't sent him to my life. Uh, it's good to have him because he supports me. Sure. And prays for me, encourages me, you know, in the walk with God. And, you know, uh, yesterday I had to come out here and do a taping. And so he was in Anderson working with his son, so he didn't get to come with me. And as soon as I walked in, everybody was, where's George? Where's George? Because they're so used to having him with me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We have a great marriage. Thank I God. think we've got a wonderful song right now. Just yeah. Because just for you two. Thank you. And Tanya are standing by. They're going to do a song so amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
happy as I can be. You have come and it changed my whole world. Bye-bye, sad days. Hello, mellow. What a wonderful day. It's so amazing to be loved. I follow you to the moon and the sky. Oh, such beautiful singing tonight. Phones are busy tonight, and I'm so glad you're calling in. We want to take this opportunity to pray over these requests tonight. I've got some praise reports. A lady called in. She had been admitted Monday to a hospital for a stroke. She's praising God that there's no damage. Praise God for that. Amen. And here's someone that had had some tests. And they're thanking the Lord because everything came back very well. Praise God. Now some of the requests that have come in uh, this evening. Uh, someone's got a cough that just doesn't want to go away. Uh, we just pray in Jesus' name that goes. Uh, here's someone, a man has uh, going through a kidney failure and needs a touch from the Lord. And right now we will just lift him up. Father, that these kidneys start working in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. A woman's going through a bout with depression, and you know we know the peace speaker. We know who can uh, give you the strength to get through this time. Uh, lady's been diagnosed with ALS. and lifting her up in prayer. Here's someone that uh, several years ago had their legs removed, and now they're in a lot of pain and needing prayer. Someone that, uh, please pray for a friend of mine that needs a physical healing in their body. So we just remember you and right now in Jesus' name. And please pray for family, family problems. There needs to be peace in the family. So many needs and so many requests. But please, if you've got a request, that, that call in. Let us join you you in lifting that need up before the Father. And by the way, as we go back to Gwen... Now let's go to Gwen. <laughs> you won't do. <laughs> we had redone our bedroom last year, and we both ran into, uh, there's a store up there, I think there's one here in Greenville, Hobby Lobby. 
and we sing that little song, and we just we just loved it. Yeah. And we'd been looking for something, and so sometimes we just cut up at night as we go to bed, and we both just point to that sign. Of course, mm -hmm. we tell each other we love them, yeah. each other, you know. Yeah. Your story tonight, I know it was mm -hmm. back in the fall, August, September, mm -hmm. somewhere along August. there. You got really sick. Yeah. And I, I didn't even know that till tonight, but mm -hmm. thank God the Lord was there with you and seen he you was. through. Yes. But how did this man during that time support you? You know, he, good times, challenging times. Was he there for you? He was there for me. Um, yes, I did get really sick and I was in the hospital for a week. Wow. Uh, the doctor had said that I had a gallstones, which they thought I only had maybe two or three. And so he wanted me to come into the hospital outpatient and go home the same day. Well, come to find out, I had over 200 gallstones. Wow. One of them was the size of a um, walnut, mm -hmm. he said. Yeah. And so um, I ended up being in the hospital for a whole week. Wow. And my husband, he was right there with me. He stayed on that little cot over there <laughs> that uh, they have for me, for, for, for uh, the family members. Okay. Yeah. And I tell you what, he was, he was right there. I had to ask him to leave the hospital, to go out and get some fresh air or go home and change clothes or, or whatever he needed to do because I didn't want him to feel like, oh my God, my, you know, hospitals can be draining, mm -hmm. you know, they can really drain you. And so he, he was, and they, when they transferred me from one hospital to another hospital, uh, they wouldn't let him ride into the ambulance with me. He had to drive his car. Well, he got over there to the hospital, but when the surgery was over and they was going to transfer me back to the hospital, they didn't come to the room. They didn't come to the waiting room to tell him. Oh. So what happened with that? I'm, I'm sitting in the waiting room waiting, you know, for them to let me know because she said, take this little buzzer, you know, and we're yeah. budging <laughs> that you know. And I sit and sit, you know, and I'm thinking, I guess about two hours down wow. went by and I'm sitting and she done went and had the surgery and was on the way back. So I goes to the desk and asked the lady, I said, what, what about, you know, my wife, you know, you, you're <laughs> supposed to, she wasn't supposed to be here as long as she's here. Mm -hmm. So they checked it out. She came back. She said, sir, I am so sorry. She's on her way back to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? But he, he did that because in his heart, he he loves you. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. See, when when you get married, and, and you probably know this tonight as well as I do, you're not two anymore. You're one. That's, right. That's why one. it talks right. about how you leave that father and mother and you cleave. Yes. Right. That word cleave means yes. you stick like glue. Mm -hmm. Right. Wade yeah. knows when I don't feel good. I don't even have to tell him. He knows. Mm -hmm. Likewise, mm -hmm. I know exactly. Yeah. When he's having a day when he doesn't feel his best. Mm -hmm. right. So he yeah. does it because he's a part of you. Part of he me. takes mm -hmm. on that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> my um I my gallbladder was so bad I had it was gangrenous. I was gangrene almost through my bowel duct, the gallbladder, uh, the whole mm -hmm. area, my insides were just gangrene. You're a miracle because didn't I, they want to put that surgery off? Yes. They, they so thank to God! The surgery off thank for God! Two he weeks. was lo he yes. was looking out for you. He Prayers was. was going up for you. Yes, yeah, he was. yes. The prayers yeah. of the righteous. Oh Lord, yeah. faileth much. Mm -hmm. it, it does matter when we pray for one another. Mm -hmm. It does. And it, really does. it talks about when you're one, how the prayers, the two of you, there's mm -hmm. just power in that yes, agreement. Yes, power yes. in oh, prayer. Yeah. And we pray every morning. Every morning we get up. Mm -hmm. We get on our knees oh, and we yeah. pray together. Yeah. We pray all throughout the day. We pray uh, before we even go back to bed at night, you know, and we'll pray sometime even while we're oh, laying yeah. in the bed. Just pray to the Lord because we need him. More and than we yes. ever have. Yeah. Yes. We're living in a day and time right now. Yes. As I went to bed last night and I was praying, there was just a spirit of weeping come up on me. Wow. Not just for our home, mm -hmm. our families, but for our nation. Mm -hmm. And as I began to just pray over our young people that are coming oh, up, yeah. these young people that are ministering tonight, they're going to be the ones God is going yes. to use. They're going yes. to be right on the yes. front lines. Amen. And as I began yeah. praying, I was interceding in the spirit. And it went on and on and on. <laughs> and God said, I am raising them up. Mm -hmm. You know, 
He has got a work for all of us yes, to do. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yes. And yes, I just does. I just sense the sweet presence in here tonight. Yes. And I would love to just pray for the two of you yes. if I could. Okay. Yes. Sure. Father, we so humbly thank you, Jesus. come before you. Yes. Lord. I thank you thank for you, the Jesus. man and woman of God that you put together. Yes, yes Father. Lord. They didn't try to plan it. Thank you you had a plan in yes, mind Father. for them. Yes, Lord Jesus. No longer are they two, but they're one. Yes, Lord Jesus. And I thank Jesus. you, Father God, for the love that I see that this man, yes, George, Lord. has for yes. Annie. Thank yes, you. Thank Jesus. And the love that she has for George. Yes, Lord Jesus. And I speak increase yes, in Lord every Jesus. area thank of you, their Jesus. life. Thank you, Father. Oh, first of all, for thank you, Lord, you, Jesus. that we yes. praise you thank and you, we Lord. worship you. You come have first in our life. And then next to you, Lord, is our mate. Yes, our love God. Father Jesus. God. Thank you. Oh, I thank, thank you, Lord you, Jesus, yes. tonight. Thank that you, you use them in an awesome, mighty yes, way. Yes, and God. even yes, in this God. last day, that you just pour a great portion of your spirit yes. upon you, them. Yes, and you Father. Use Hallelujah. Them in this last day ministry. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, we do, Father Hallelujah. God. We thank Jesus. you. I count it an Jesus. honor to have thank the man Jesus. and woman of God, oh, God here tonight. Jesus. And I pray Jesus. blessings. I thank pray you, fresh yes. anointing. I pray oh, fresh oil up on the ministry in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, that they go yes, forth Lord in the name God. of Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for it, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, and we give yes, you praise, and we give you glory, yes, and we honor you this night. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God's got great things in store Thank for you. Jesus. Yes. I just sense yes. his presence as y'all shared you, tonight. Jesus. I know Thank you Jesus. all have sensed it. Yes, God. We're going back to Kenny. He's got another song for you. Thank you, I Jesus. found love. Let it minister. <laughs>
when I found you, I knew that it was enough for me. When I found you, I found love. Oh, I found love. Yeah. When I found you, I found love. Oh, oh. oh. found love yeah another beautiful song just for the two of you tonight <laughs> yes. thank you Minister yes. Kenny Smith Yes. He's singing songs tonight I've never heard, but they yes. sure are beautiful. Yes. I told her, I said, they need to make a CD. They should. <laughs> Just they old should. wedding music is beautiful. Yes. Wade's joined us over here. <laughs> what would you say to this beautiful company, uh, couple tonight? Well, I'll say, first of all, what a pleasure to have you I with know. us tonight. You have and to and come a, back again. And a Thank wonderful you. story. Thank you. I tell you, it's just you found love, like yes, the song yes, says. Yes, yes. You yes. found love between you, and when we find love, we also, when we find Jesus, we find that ultimate love. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. so Makes true. a difference when Makes you have Jesus in the middle of it. Yes, too. yes. 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 I, I wouldn't want to be in any kind of relationship without the Lord. Yes. How about you? That's you know, truth. one thing, too, that, you know, we need to wait on God to send us the right person that he wants us mm -hmm. to be with. So many times... You know, we try to choose for wow. ourselves, you know, and, and, and if you don't wait on the Lord, you know, sometimes you might not choose the right one who yeah. God has for you. Mm -hmm. So I always encourage women, That's you good, know, to, to wait on God, you know, mm -hmm. um, sometimes they feel like they wait. I've been waiting, this, <laughs> my biological clock is ticking, <laughs> so many different things, you know, mm -hmm. but I feel like if we wait on the Lord, and let him send the right person. You know, my husband said it, you know, when he came into my life, he said, I want to treat you like the queen that you are. Oh. I I said, he said, I want to treat you like the queen that you are. Yeah, I did. And even in a, in a midnight hour, if I'm Thursday, if, I, if he sends, he's, he'll wake up and say, is anything wrong? And I said, well, I'm just going to get some water. I get it for you. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah, I mean, he's just, I, I, uh, I you're, you're pleased that you have this lady in your life, right? I am. Very I know, much I can so. tell. <laughs> she wake up sometime. I wake up before she do, and I just be staring at her, you oh, know, Lord. <laughs> smiling at her, thinking. <laughs> and she look over. It's just like she can sense me looking at her. And uh, she said, what's wrong with you? I said, I was just looking at how beautiful Aww. you is early in the uh, morning, you know. Now, you know, well, you are to... a beautiful lady. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But early yeah. in the morning. She's yeah. still beautiful. <laughs> She's still... <laughs> That's when you know it's really love. <laughs> <laughs> early in the morning. I said, Lord Jesus. We are at the, can you believe we are already gone through an hour, but we're coming back. We're coming back. And thank you so much for coming and being our <laughs> Valentine couple tonight. Amen. You'll come back, right? Yes. Promise. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> thank you. For so you us. stay with us and we'll be right back. Okay. Wait, can you believe it? It's the first hour is gone. <laughs> yes. So we'll be right back with the second half hour of Not Lying.